This robot was built to destroy others. By spinning a heavy weapon at high speed, it can launch opponents into the air, potentially dealing enough damage to stop them from working. But things don't always go as planned, as last time I had several problems with it. So in the last couple of months, I've been prototyping, testing, and experimenting an improved robot that is finally ready to compete at one of Europe's largest competitions, with hits that will surprise not only you, but the whole crowd, leaving everyone speechless. If you are new to the channel, this is my combat robot hotline, which I've been building up for a few years now. It's built like an RC car, except it's armed with a weapon built to smash things apart. Last time, my bot's issue was ground game. You see, in order for my robot's weapon to hit something, the opponent needs to glide under the spinning weapon. Without this configuration, fighting a robot with, let's say, a wedge, would be a terrible idea. Usually, unless you are a great driver, everything depends on which robot lifts their opponent. A great example we saw at my last competition was when I fought Nyx. Here, we collided head to head and he lifts me. We both have forks, so why does he win most of the encounters? I rewatched it a couple of times now and you know what? The forks could be bouncing because my weapon is a bit off balanced. That does seem to be the case, because over time it got used up and the tip has lost some material. But maybe that's the reason why I'm getting lifted. Wait a second. They are jumping up and down pretty heavily. But how do I fix this problem? There are a couple of things I've been thinking about. The first idea was adding magnets to the forks, which could work since the competition I'm going to does use a metal floor. But I really wanted a solution that could work both on metal and wooden floors. Adding some kind of spring mechanism seemed like a good idea, something that could work while not remaining dependent on the material of the floor. Well, the idea is set. Let's try making something out of it. a hole in the fork mounts, I've added these soft silicone pillows, and they act like a spring. By compressing with the fork, when my robot is on the ground, which hopefully will remove all the shaking. So another thing that I've noticed is that my robot's wheels aren't even touching the ground, which could be a problem. But for now, let's just rebuild everything and look if that's still the case. I think we're good. It compresses enough because of the weapon's weight and the wheels are touching the ground. Before I even started working on these new forks, I had already taken Hotline to Sun City's competition and it dominated, as expected, until this. It turned off. I took a look at it and found out that the battery stopped working. 
Well, not literally. The battery contacts were very thin and they just came right off. This gave me the motivation to make a new battery, not from three cells, but from four. This upgrade I think will be very beneficial. Take a look. When two vertical spinners collide like this, why do you think the blue one got the better in this exchange? Because its weapon spins faster. Like that. And I have this problem too. When fighting against a vertical spinner like Nyx, we go weapon to weapon, and he usually wins in these exchanges. Higher voltage means a faster weapon. Not planning to go full throttle all the time, but it's essential to have that ability. One of the upgrades I did in the previous video was I made it possible for my robot to be charged like this from the outside. It saved some time between matches, but it wasn't practical as I needed to solder these wires directly to the battery contacts. This battery is thinner, and it lets me charge in the way that my robot was originally designed. With a bigger battery, my robot will draw more current, and these thin wires probably won't be enough. I'm thinking of using 18 AWG wires which are bigger, but there is a weight limit of 454 grams. That's why I had to remove these two little forks which will save me around 11 grams. Hopefully compensating enough for my bigger battery and wires. There are only a few days left until the competition, so I better get to work and finish my robot. While we were driving, my teammate showed his new robot and it looks way better than before. We're going to a robotic arena competition which is taking place in Rokla, Poland. It's going to be a long drive, so let's sit back and I'll see you when we get there. I need to glue on this nut so it doesn't come loose. I, uh, I forgot to do that earlier. Well, tomorrow's the day, so I'll get some rest and I'll see you in the competition. It has officially been one year since Hotline's debut. This is basically where it all began. I didn't see most of the competitors. They must have been hiding or something because it says the competition is packed with 30 ant weight robots. Well, I'm ready. Now let's just wait for my turn to fight. Hotline contra Queen is the Batman. It's me. I'm now fighting this horizontal spinner named Contra Queen. Also, the arena has two hammers and they hit pretty hard, so I'll have to avoid them. But now let's see how we did.
fairly good start. I hit the weapon out of my opponent's robot alongside his two wheels. Not a competitive fight, but I'm just happy Hotline is working and it's doing what it's supposed to do. My next fight will be against... Anvil, my teammate, which I had shown you in the car. He had said to me that he will attack me straight after the start, so okay. I better be ready. If ready then... One, two, three, go! That was fast. I broke his wheel off, but the reason he stopped working is because I ripped out his battery and all the electronics came out. Now, I'm in the quarterfinals. Um, but before that, Nyx is fighting. Let's see how he does. The rest of the fight, they were just pushing, and because Nyx didn't do any damage, he lost. That means I'm fighting the winner, which is that drum spinner. It looks like his weapon's okay. pretty powerful, so I'll try my best not to go okay. too reckless. One, two, three, go! I mean, just like that. I have ripped his weapon out and he completely stopped moving after several big hits. Something is wrong though. My shaft is bent and it's moving. This is why I put some glue in there because now I'm in the finals and I've got to be ready. I'll be fighting an all metal horizontal spinner with an 80 gram blade. Sit steady because this is about to be a very entertaining fight. And that was it. Hotline definitely worked better than I expected and received no significant damage throughout the entire event. We didn't face any wedge boss this time, so I didn't really get to see if the new fork setup works against those kinds of robots. But we can definitely say, this time, they did pretty well. Thank you so much for staying to the end, and I really hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to support me further, you can join my Patreon page. There, I'll be posting behind the scenes videos, you'll be able to contact me directly, and even learn more about combat robotics. And if you want to take a closer look at Hotline's other features, you can check out this video right here. Don't forget to subscribe, because there's plenty more content and projects on the way. Uwaga. Ruszyli, ruszyli. Oj, 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 hotline tak chyba przyatakował. Oj, 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 ale tam iskry poszły.